Stevenson gets the 10-9 win over Eastern tonight in overtime. Glenn Clark, head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, you know, had it all along, right? Well, you know, I mean, a lot of credit to Eastern. I'll give them that. You know, they, they came out and played hard. They were really physical. Uh, the officials weren't calling much. And uh, I think that was a little frustrating for our guys. And we didn't handle it well. You know, we got out to like that 4-1 lead. And they scrapped. I mean, they hit some shots. And, you know, a lot of things went their way. They thought their goal he made early in the first half. He made a lot of phenomenal saves. And then we kind of pressed for a little bit. And, and uh, it can, but I give them a lot of credit, and uh, you know, as I told the team, is that I, guess, I hope that's a wake-up call for us because we're nowhere near when we, you know, this coming out of the pause and all this stuff. It's really tremendously hard for teams to play well out of that because you're going. We were playing so great after Arcadia. We thought we were unbelievable, and then we go on pause for about two and a half weeks, and you know, it's really hard to reset. And I was really worried we weren't practicing great, and guys are kind of a little. Uh, a little talkative to each other, I should say, and complaining a little bit too much. And so hopefully this refocuses us and do this. And it's a really hard year with all that stuff going on. They got a test and worrying about it. You know, I'm up all night. You got four hours of sleep last night, hoping everything's everybody's negative. And so this is all tough to do and get the, the mind focused. And we have to be a lot more mentally tough. And so hopefully we can do that and get back to where we need to go. Uh, coming up with Hood and everything and going on to Widener and the other games. So I think we'll refocus, you know, but Hey, we played eight minutes of really tough lacrosse at the end. Eight minutes, down three. Uh, we played some tough lacrosse. You know, we get a huge goal from Louis. Cam hits a great shot. Unbelievable. Coleman, you know, who was terrible all day. He really was. And I, he knows it. He knows it. But he hits an unbelievable shot. Yep. You know what I mean? To hit, get the, by the kid. And then, you know, Tatum's like one of 100. He didn't get anything. None of 100 and gets it in. And he hits a big shot for us to win the game. But, you know, we still got a great, you know, our faceoff guy, Torpy, does a great job, wins the faceoff, holds, get a call there. So we put ourselves in position to do that, but we still had a lot of unforced turnovers that I really think we need to clean up. And But I think that's just our mental mindset. We just have to get back to this a little bit better. I guess let's be frank, right? I thought in the third quarter that was some of the, the worst lacrosse we've seen, right? How, how did it change? How were they able to come out of that and not have it bury them? Well, you know, great teams, sometimes, or good teams, I should say, we're not a great team, but good teams, sometimes you don't play your best uh, during situations, you find a way to get it done. You're tough enough. I think we're tough enough to, to make those plays when it really matters. And we put our in a position uh, they did a bad job in the sub Louie hit a big shot so good teams can find a way to win those games right to make enough plays to win and when these are one of these days and every team throughout the course of the year is going to have some tough games to play and to get to whether they think they're better than the other team or not Eastern's been on a great great stretch they had some great wins they're getting all their guys back they feel really good and they shoot the ball pretty well and their goalie's standing on his head so that's tough to beat you know so I think we made enough plays and got tough enough to make those plays to win and um, I'm proud of them but we have a lot of work to do to get back going forward and uh, I think the guys know it hopefully this refocuses us to do that and um, we can be better next week. Can we, can we just talk about the defense for a second? Because I do think that there's worthy of, yeah. of, of a lot of praise that way. Well, Nick, you know, I think Nick Mollevy, you know, he was a little disappointed in his play, but I thought. Um, thought McGaw was unbelievable and Matt Wilson is just you know from his freshman year now up he's just gotten better and better and Doyster and uh, Eddie Masterson and our you know Tyler um, Tyler Sullivan played so great tonight did a lot of great things and those guys were exhausted they kept us in the game and they're the reason sometimes but you know, if you want to win a championship, just like in football or basketball or anything, you're going to win it with your defense. And because there's days where the offense is just not going to be good, and it's just not going to click. And for whatever reason, our defense is good enough now to keep us in games and give us a chance. And they're really selling out. Mark in the cage was great again, making some saves. I think he let one or two in that he's maybe surprising at. But you know, Mark's been through a lot in the week, and his whole family here and everything with his father passing. You know, about 10 days ago. So you know, he he was under a lot of emotions. We've had a lot go on to us. So, but the defense is you got to give him kudos. I told them they're playing great, but they're not even happy with themselves. You know what I mean? They're there going, hey, you know, Nick's saying this is my worst game I've played. And, you know, I think those guys, I think we're going to come out with a, a, some vigor on Monday and be ready to go next week. Coach, it's a win at the end of the night, and it was a thrilling win, and with some people in the stands to be able to watch we it. Every, we want everybody to come back. Let's, you know, come back, <laughs> keep them happy, and, you know, that's good. Congratulations on a win, however you get it. We'll talk again real soon. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it all. He's Coach Paul Cantavani. This is GoMustangSports.tv.